Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Our second round of freezing rain and sleet now winding down. This one not nearly as widespread or as heavy as what we dealt with last night, but it did lead to a little bit of additional icing in our southern counties this evening. But that is out of here, and it looks like the third wave that may at least try to make a run at us late tomorrow night will probably track to our south and then it's pretty much clear sailing until next week and that's just going to be a rainmaker so eventually we're going to break out of this wintry pattern and we need to 19 was a low 25 the high well below the average which is now up to 43 winter weather advisory have all been trimmed back to just ohio county that will likely be taken off the board here uh, shortly as this system continues to depart off to the east south Southeast. Live first warning Doppler showing the last of the scattered uh, sleet and freezing rain showers now right over Ohio County. They pretty much cleared all of our other counties. The back edge now in the Hartford Beaver Dam area. And these are going to quickly exit off to the east, and that will be it. Hopefully for the foreseeable future in terms of any kind of significant uh, wintry precipitation as long as that next system stays down to our south late tomorrow night and that appears to be the case. All right, our network of Doppler radar is checking out uh, the travel conditions here in the metro. Temperatures have been pretty steady all evening long in the lower 20s. Here's the traffic playing out today. I-69, State Route 66 on our roofclaim.com tower camera, and you can see the uh, main roads were in uh, good shape there, uh, and the road crews really did a nice job uh, clearing out all that ice. Now, side roads that have not been touched are still a, a skating rink, so be careful out there, and be careful when you're walking, you know, sidewalks and steps. The ice is thick. It's going to take a while to get all that out of here. Our tower camera view in downtown, there's Sycamore out to the Lloyd Expressway. And you're seeing pavement there. we got traffic on the Lloyd, so looking good there with the temperature still at 24. Winds out of the northwest at around 6, and temperatures still hanging between 20 and 25. But with some clearing overnight, we should be dropping into the teens. Guidance is still indicating under the ice pack, especially to the south, we could get some single digits, but that will require some clearing. The uh, ice much more significant to our south. They've had some power outages down in Nashville because of the uh, ice weighing down the trees and the power lines there. But at least the uh, freezing rain is beginning to let up in Arkansas. And this ice storm, which just missed us to the south, is also winding down, as is our latest wave right here. A little bit of drier air is trying to work in from the north, which should lead to at least a little sunshine tomorrow. So Future Tracker, as we take you into your Wednesday, painting a mix of sun and clouds across the area, with more clouds to the south, more sun to the north, and highs generally in the low to mid-30s. Now, our southern counties where the ice is a little thicker on the ground, that's going to use up some of that solar energy that we would otherwise use to heat the air with, so that may hold highs just below the melting point in some communities. But I think the rest of us should get at least into the low, if not mid-30s, uh, tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow night, the clouds increase ahead of that next wave, but our future tracker model continues to keep everything along and south of the Kentucky Tennessee line. Other models are a little farther north. I think the closest it would get would be the Western Kentucky Parkway and should be even lighter than what we saw uh, this evening. Then Thursday after some morning clouds, we should see some clearing in the afternoon as temperatures finally get back to normal, low 40s. And then when you know it, another cold front, a dry one, comes through Thursday night. That knocks us back into the freezer for one day with highs staying below 32 degrees on Friday afternoon despite a good deal of sunshine. But as we head into the weekend, a much more significant warming trend will be kicking in. So overnight cloudy and uh, very cold. The sleet and freezing rain has come pretty much to an end or will in Ohio County here shortly. We'll see some clearing, especially in our northern counties overnight. I think low to mid-teens for most of us. Single digits, not out of the question if we see some significant clearing. Mix of sun and clouds tomorrow, more sun to the north, more clouds to the south. Not as cold, but still cold, low to mid-30s for the high. Seven-day forecast, we cloud up tomorrow night, some clearing Thursday afternoon in 42. The winter weather alerts up for Friday, another sub-freezing day. Not as cold as today, but we're below freezing from start to finish despite a good deal of sunshine. But the weekend looks nice. Clouds will be increasing on Saturday, but temperatures are back to normal. We'll see some clearing on Sunday. Temperatures are above average in the afternoon. Highs around 50. Gets even warmer than that early next week with highs into the mid-50s. And the next system of significance looks to be just a rain.
rainmaker coming in late Tuesday after a high of 55 degrees. So there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel and a light that's going to melt mm -hmm. away all this ice eventually. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Wayne.